several lion subspecies are found in the wild. Two of them are the African lion and the Asiatic lion. When the two subspecies of Panthera leo are seen side by side, differences between them might seem relatively minor. But appearances don't tell the whole story. African and Asiatic lions have been geographically isolated from each other for about 200,000 years. Today, fewer than 30,000 African lions and only about 400 Asiatic lions are left in the wild. Both of them have their territory to dominate. But what if they would meet in the middle and a fight would be inevitable? Then who would win between an African lion and an Asiatic lion? Before we answer this question, let's make a comparison between the two opponents. African lions once roamed most of Africa and parts of Asia and Europe, but the species has disappeared from 94% of its historic range and can only be found today in parts of sub-Saharan Africa. These lions mainly stick to the grasslands, scrub, or open woodlands where they can more easily hunt their prey, but they can live in most habitats aside from tropical rainforests and deserts. Asiatic lions once prowled from the Middle East to India. Now, only a fraction of these magnificent animals survives in the wild. The Jir Forest's dry teak woods were once a royal hunting ground. Today, they are a reserve where these at-risk big cats are heavily protected. Asiatic lions are relatively smaller than their African lions, on average and in maximum figures. Adult males typically weigh between 353 and 420 pounds, 160 to 190 kilograms, while adult females weigh between 240 and 264 pounds, 109 to 120 kilograms. The largest Asiatic lion on record measured 9.7 feet, 296 centimeters, from the tip of its nose to the tip of its tail. Male African lions typically weigh between 320 and 500 pounds, 145 to 227 kilograms in weight, with an average of around 386 pounds, 175 kilograms overall. The largest African lion hunted on record weighed 690 pounds, 313 kilograms. Females typically weigh more than their Asiatic cousins. The longest African lion measured around 10 feet, 310 centimeters, from nose to tail tip. The male Asiatic lions have sparse and exceptionally short manes, with its ears visible. Another standout mane feature is the color. The short mane is dark and less developed. Male African lions have a more prominent, fuller mane that covers the whole head and falls back over the shoulders. The mane signals how healthy a male is to females which they use to attract them and to intimidate other rivals. Asiatic lions have more pronounced tufts of hair on their elbows and tails compared to their African counterparts. The tail tuft covers the whole back area of the tuft, and its function is yet to be determined. African lions have minimal tufts of hair on their tails and elbows. Other than the male's sparse mane, the most distinguished characteristic of the Asiatic lion is a longitudinal fold of skin that runs along the belly. This trait is found in all Asiatic lions and very rarely in the African lions. Interestingly, those from the West Central Africa region and the Barbary lions have the same belly fold. Around 50% of Asiatic lions have what are called bifurcated infraorbitable foramina. These are small holes in the skull that allow nerves and blood vessels to pass to the eye. If a lion's skull has two of these, it's an Asiatic lion. For whatever reason, African lions only have one infraorbitable foramen. Their eyesight is just as strong as the Asiatic lions, so there's no particular benefit to having two infraorbital foramina versus just one. Lions are highly sociable and live in social units called pride. Asiatic pride tends to be smaller than their African counterparts. The largest recorded Asiatic pride included five adult females, but most just have two adult females. The reason behind this is that Asiatic lions prey on smaller animals, which makes sense to have a smaller attacking force. 
Another possible reason is the size of their habitat. Gur National Park is not that big, and the hunting space is too constricted for the lions to operate in a large pride. In Africa, these prides include an average of 4 to 6 females, their cubs, and 1 to 4 male lions. The faster, more agile females do the hunting, while the larger male lions patrol and defend the pride's territory. The females in a pride usually give birth at the same time and raise their cubs together in a creche or nursery. Male Asiatic lions do not live in prides. In fact, they tend to only associate with female lions when mating or at large kills. Otherwise, they live alone or in partnership with another male lion. These partnerships allow male Asiatic lions to control larger territories and more easily scare off rival males. In Africa, every lion pride has a resident male or group of males, which defend their prides vigorously against other males. Pride takeovers occur every two years, during which the suckling cubs of the defeated males are killed. This ensures that the new male will pass along his genes. The prey animals in the Gur forest are generally smaller than those in Africa, so hunting groups tend to be smaller as well. This likely explains why pride size is so small. The most commonly taken prey species in the Gur forest is the Chital deer, which weighs only 110 pounds. These account for around 45% of known kills. The prey animals of the African savanna tend to be larger than those in the Gur forest of northwest India. African lions will frequently tackle prey weighing as much as 600 to 800 pounds, such as wildebeest and zebra, and will occasionally take down African buffalo, which weigh between 1,000 and 2,000 pounds. This requires cooperative hunting techniques which may explain why African lions live in larger prides. That being said, who would win if the African lion and the Asian lion fought? In a one-on-one -on -one battle, I think that an Asiatic lion would stand little chance against an African one. Asiatic lions generally prefer to escape confrontations with other large carnivores. They are more stealthy and considerably faster than African lions. Their weight is quite less than that of an African lion, implying lesser muscle power. Asiatic lions hunt much smaller prey than African lions. The main prey of animals of the African lions are cape buffaloes, wildebeest, large antelopes, and sometimes even giraffes. They need immense muscle power and strong arsenals like canine teeth and retractable claws to wrestle down large prey. They are nature's perfect wrestlers and have strength in numbers. Furthermore, the abundance of prey and other natural resources are far better in the case of African lions. Asiatic lions are restricted to a single national park in the world, in India, and there simply aren't many resources to sustain large prides and powerful lions because of the reduced gene pool. To put it simply, African lions have to be strong and strategic, whereas Asiatic lions have to be stealthy and fast to bring down fast but small prey. So, in a one-on-one -on -one duel, the stealthy ambushing nature of the Asiatic lion would actually be a vulnerability in front of the more enduring and muscle-powered African lion. Unfortunately, big cats around the world are in sharp decline due to forces beyond their control. Loss of habitat has hit lions hard, as this has led to a reduction of prey numbers, starving them at their food sources. Conflicts with humans and livestock have also led to many lions losing their lives over the years. As human populations increase and encroach on what was once lion territories, the lions have been forced to start attacking livestock. In retaliation, they have been hunted down and killed. Diseases and climate change have also affected lion populations. Africa is getting drier and hotter, and this is drying up water sources and grass, driving away zebras, antelopes, and buffaloes, which is the source of food for lions. Inbreeding, depression, has also caused the gene pool to weaken considerably, and this has made lions vulnerable. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.